Hello and welcome to a new video about measurements. This time we are going to start about um, measurement structures. Huh? And the first structure we are going to talk about is the measurement chain, the chain structure. Huh? So if elements of the measurement system are organized in a row, in a chain, one after the other. Uh, one element after the other. I have made a little drawing like this. Yeah? So this could be a measurement change. We have one element after the other and the output of one element is the input of the next element. Yeah? So here we have our xi in our measurement system. Here we have our xo. So this is the, the physical entity, the physical quantity I want to measure. And this is my displayed value. All right. So Let's have a look at this first one. Yeah? The, the, the input of the first one, xi, yeah, is, is xi. xi1 is xi. Yeah? And the output of the first one is xo1. Okay? And this has a certain gain factor. So we can write xo1 equals k1 multiplied by xi1 okay this xo1 is the input value of the second so this is xi2 and here we have xo2 right and here is also xo2 equals and there we have again a gain factor k2 multiplied by xi2 Two. Okay. Every element in the chain has the same input and output values, and this is x i three. Yeah? And here at the end we have x o three, and this equals x o from the overall system. So my x o three equals k three yeah, multiplied by x i 3. Yeah? Like I said, every element has its own input and its own gain factor, and so we put it all together, right? So let's take this into account. Yeah? So here we say x o 1 equals k 1 multiplied by x i, well, because it's the same. Yeah. And this is xi2. So my xo2 is k2 multiplied by k1 multiplied by xi. Okay, because this is xi2. Okay. And this is again xi3. So this means my xo3, which is xo equals k3 multiplied by k2 multiplied by k1 multiplied by xi. Yeah. This means this is a k multiplied by xi. We have a, a total gain factor k, yeah, which is the product. Yeah. So my total gain factor k is the product of this elements k2, k3, and so on. If there are more elements in the chain, it would look like that. Yeah? If I would write it in a more mathematical way, I could write the total gain factor k is the product. Uh, this is the product from i equals 1 to n yeah, from all k in the systems, k I'm not sure if you know this, this, this product. Yeah? You for sure know the sum sign. Yeah? This is the sum yeah? of all possible elements and this is the product. This is the Greek letter for sigma. So an S, so it's sum. Okay? And this is the Greek letter of pi. Yeah? Big pi is this. This is the product. And this is the letter of pi. Yeah? A P 
product. P product as sum. Easy, right? <laughs> so it's product of all elements in the chain is the complete gain factor. Good. I've also brought with me a little bit of example for this chain factor. Let's have a look at that. Let's have a look at that. Here, this is my measurement chain. I have a sensor, I have an amplifier, I have a UI converter. The thing is like that. The sensor is a pressure sensor. It can measure from 0 to 50 bars. The amplifier is supplying this pressure sensor with 5 volts supply voltage getting back a signal, right? And the output of the amplifier fire shall be 0 to 10 volts. Good. And then there is a UI converter, which will convert this, these voltage signals into a current signal. And the output is then 0 to 20 milliamps. Okay? And now the question is, how much gain do I have to, to adjust here to reach the 0 to 10 volt? That 0 to 10 volt are reflecting 0 to 50 bars. This is also given the sensor uh, characteristic is 2 millivolts by volt at 50 bar. So if I supply this thing with 1 volt uh, and I apply 50 bars, I will get back 2 millivolts. Uh, if I supply this thing with 2 volts and apply 50 bars, I will get back 2 times 2 millivolts. So 4 millivolts. I supply this thing with 5 volts. So we have 5 volts multiplied with 2 millivolt by volt equals 10 millivolt at 50 bar. Okay, so this means here my signal, because I supply this with 5 volt, my signal here starts at 0 yeah, and will end up at 10 millivolts at 50 bar. Yeah. I want to have 10 volts. Yeah. So what is the gain factor here? Yeah. So if I number this, this is 1, this is 2, this is 3. Yeah. So uh, it's like that, that 10 volts, the output here, yeah, equals K2, the gain factor, multiplied by 10 millivolts, the input. Output is input multiplied by gain factor. This is what is written here. So my K2, which I have to adjust to, is 10 volts divided by 10 millivolts. And this is factor 1000. Yeah? 10 volts divided by 0 0.01, yeah, which is 10 millivolts is factor 1000. So I have to adjust here again factor of 1000 to reach the 0 to 10 volts. Okay. Let's also calculate K1. Yeah. What is K1? This is output 10 millivolts divided by input these are 50 bars. So K1 is, get my calculator here. Yeah. So it is 10 divided by 50. These are 0 0.2. Yeah. 0 0.2. And here we have a unit, millivolt per bar. Yeah. This is K1, right? What would be K3? Let's see. Output are 20 milliamps divided by input are 10 volts. 20 divided by 10 is 2. So we have 2 milliamps 
per volt. Yeah? What is the total factor now? My k, this is k1 multiplied by k2 multiplied by k3 and this is, and now we have 0 0.2 millivolt by bar. Yeah. Then we have 1000 yeah, multiplied by a uh, multiplied by 2 milliamps per volt. Okay. This is volt by volt. Yeah? Factor 1. Yeah? This is also 1 volt by millivolt. Okay. So if I transfer this here, yeah, I have 0 0.2 millivolts by bar multiplied by 1 volt per millivolt. Yeah, multiplied by 2 milliampere per volt. And now I can, it is important to, to see, to see the, the units, yeah? because now, book, this is gone, this is gone, yeah, and I have here 0 0.2 multiplied by 1, multiplied by 2 is 0 0.4, 0 0.4 milliamps per bar. Okay. I even get this here, yeah, because here I would have 0 0.2 multiplied by 1000, multiplied by 2, but by volt, if I want to have this by millivolt, I would have divide to divide this by 1000, so this is 0 0.2 millivolt divided by bar, yeah, multiplied by 1000 volt by volt, multiplied by uh, 2 divided by 1000 milliamp per millivolt. Yeah? So this 1000 is gone, this millivolt is gone, this volt is gone, and I must again there 0 to 2 multiplied by 1 multiplied by 2 0 0.4 milliamp per bar. Yeah? You have to stay a little bit alert with the units. Yeah? But in the end, you know, you can always make the, the check. We have 20 milliamps, we have 50 bar, so the output is 20 milliamps divided by, divided by 50 bars, and then we have 0 0.4 milliamps by bar. Yeah? It must be the same, right? <laughs> yeah, that's chain structure. Chain structure, chain structure. One important structure of measurement system. Next time, we also will uh, talk about a structure. We'll talk about parallel structure of measurement system. This is a very handy structure to suppress some, some errors. Yeah? And we'll talk about this in next video. Next video, parallel structure for this time. Thank you very much for listening. Goodbye.